。喂，咁多位大家好，我系刘翔。今日咧，我哋又嚟温下书啦。咁啊，温下啲跨课题嘅题目嘅，就系、是、細胞分裂同埋基础遗传学。咁我哋就用以下三条题目啦，去温一温书咯。咁啊，呢幅图咧，佢就讲啦，系显示咗一个細胞喺呢个减数細胞分裂一个较为早期嘅阶段，佢嘅。染色體嘅外觀就係咁樣啦，見到啲交叉啦，有長交叉，有短交叉啦。咁其實啦，呢條題目呢，第一已經係考緊我哋啦。喂，理解一下呢，究竟喺個細胞周期嘅不同嘅階段，究竟佢個染色體嘅形狀啊，個狀態啊，係如何㗎？咁所以你望到呢幅圖呢，我期望大家應該噏得出佢最似嘅呢，就係 Pro Phase One 前期一。不過啦，佢就唔似本書呢，係將嗰個同源染色體呢。變做一 pair pair 俾你睇啫嘛，係咪一個毫無 logos c o m o s o m 佢就硬係咧特登要分開嘅，長交叉。哎呀，我係唔配對俾你睇啊！咁題目係咁噶啦，唔緊要啦。咁而家啦，睇下題目咯。佢就話啦，呢一幅圖佢入面嘅 DNA 嘅分量咧就係 beta 咁多。咁如果呢個細胞佢喺一個未係分裂嘅體細胞嘅階段。究竟佢嗰個 DNA 嘅分量又會係如何呢？咁呢個題目除咗去考大家辨別喺唔同細胞周期嘅階段佢染色體嘅狀態、佢外觀之外呢，你亦都要去理解返有關於 DNA 複製嘅情況啦。幾時 DNA 會進行複製呢？就喺、是、我哋嘅間期嘅較為末段嘅時候啦。Interface 就係個 cell 喺一次嘅細胞分裂同埋另一次嘅細胞分裂之間。一個 h 緊嘅階段啊嘛，而當個 cell 就嚟進行細胞分裂嘅時候啦，佢就會進行 DNA 嘅複製咯。而呢條題目最關鍵嘅概念，題目講噶嘛，呢、這個細胞其實佢已經喺減數細胞分裂嘅早期嘅階段 ，DNA 複製已經發生咗，所以啦，我哋拎住呢個概念，複製咗都已經係 beta 啦，咁複製之前咪就係 beta 除二咯。因為之前就係二分一贝塔乘二，未變贝塔啊嘛。咁而家除返二，咪就係二分一贝塔，就係、是、一個細胞，佢喺未分裂嘅情況，喺間期嘅時候，佢就係贝塔除二咁多嘅 DNA 嘅分量啦。咁呢條題目有啲咩變奏呢？嗱，拉落少少先，佢都可以照樣問返你㗎喎。喂，而家呢個細胞呢，佢有幾多條染色體呀、啊？佢有幾多條染色單體啊？佢有幾多對嘅染色單體啊？我哋做一擊破一下啦。而家呢幅圖有幾多個染色體啊？一個、兩個、三個、四個、五個、六個、七個、八個，誒、欸、咁咪八個咯，係嘛？八個交叉咪八條染色體咯。有幾多條染色單體啊？而家佢每一個交叉其實係屬於乜嘢？其實係屬於一個。d u b l i c a t e r chromosome 複製咗嘅染色體係咪？一個交叉就有兩條染色單體係咪？一條染色單體，兩條染色單體，即係一個交叉就有兩條啦。咁而家有八個染色體，咁咪即係有十六條嘅染色單體咯。咁佢又有幾多對嘅姊妹染色單體啊？其實都係考下我哋咩叫姊妹染色單體啫。呢、这個係一條染色單體。呢、这個又係一條染色單體，佢哋嘅關係咪就係姊妹咯。咁有幾多對嘅姊妹染色單體啊？一對係嘛？兩對啊？三對、四對、五對、六對、七對、八對，咪又係八對咯，八個 pair 咯，得嘛？咁所以先有十六條啊嘛，啱唔啱啊？好嗱，呢、这個咧就係、是、描述緊呢個細胞有幾多條染色體啦、染色單體啦，同埋幾多對嘅姊妹染色單體。而家我就想問翻你啦，如果當個細胞佢真係好似呢條題目咁樣講，係一個 non-dividing， 係一個未分裂嘅體細胞嘅時候，佢又有幾多條嘅染色體咧？幾多條嘅染色單體咧？同埋幾多對嘅姊妹染色單體咧？你留言區話俾我聽你嘅答案。咁我俾你哋一個提示咧，就係講緊啦。當而家呢度我見到有八個交叉。咁即係話，當呢個細胞佢係間期嘅時候啦，照計就唔係八個交叉，應該係八條嘅染色體啦，係咪？不過係咪真係見到咁樣八條染色體呢？就照計唔係嘅，因為啦，當一個細胞喺間期嘅時候都係做緊 DNA 嘅複製，喺嗰陣時其實見唔見到染色體呢？其實係唔應該見到嘅。你見到嘅應該係咩呀？
，係一注菜嚟嘅啫嘛，啱唔啱啊？咁呢注菜叫咩名啊？係染色汁啊嘛 ，comatin 啊嘛，係咪？嗱，我唔染，我唔寫染色呢個字啦，染色汁。啱唔啱？嗱，根據呢個提示，你試下答下呢三條題目俾我聽。又講下過往有啲咩題目咯？二零二零年其實 DNA 計數之鬼咧，都係問過呢一條噶啦。咁佢就問啦：當一個細胞阿 P， 當佢喺呢個做有絲分裂之前嗰一刻，佢就有 X 咁多嘅 DNA。然後佢就話啦：做完個分裂之後咧，喺每一個子細胞。都有四條嘅染色體，其實係咪都係累近啊 ？DNA 嘅份量有幾多？咁往後嘅變奏，你問下 Chromosome 咯 ，Chromatid 咯 ，The pair of sister Chromatid 咯，長題又唔係冇考過。咁你睇翻留言區咧，我都會擺翻過往啦。DSE 考過啲咩題目嘅嚇？咁呢啲解説，咁你哋又可以睇下片揾下書咯。Hello student, I'm Mr. Lang. So today I would like to do the revision for the cross topic. So we are going to talk about the cell division and the basic genetics. So let's take a look at the question. These cells at the early stage of the meiotic cell division, and then it shows the appearance of the chromosome. So you can see that the duplicated chromosome, the cross, right? And then the question is asking us if the amount of the DNA in the cell is beta. So what is the amount of the DNA in a non-dividing somatic cells of this organism? So this question is checking us. The first concept is about the recognition of the chromosome state in different cell cycle. So for this cell, you can see that actually which stage is it in? It should be in the pro phase one because for the meiotic cell division after the、uh, DNA replication, we should see that there should be pairing up of the homologous chromosome. However, in this picture, it just doesn't show you the pairing up of homologous chromosome, but you can still see that it should be almost arrive the pro phase one, right? And we also need to understand the DNA replication during the cell division. When does the cell undergo DNA replication? It should be in the almost the last moment of the interphase, just before. The cell division. The cell is going to do the cell division, and the DNA will replicate itself. So, what if the question mentioned that this cell is at the early stage of the meiotic cell division? The critical concept of this question is that DNA replication took place already. So, by using this information, we see that after DNA replication, we have beta DNA amount, right? So what about before that? We divide it by two, right? Therefore, the answer will be half of beta. After replication, beta. Before replication, divided by two, half beta, right? Any possible question variation? So the question can ask you for these cells. State the number of chromosome. State the number of chromatid. State the number of pair of sister chromatid. So let's do the question together. In these cells, how many chromosomes? I can see that a cross. So what does it mean? A cross. A cross. It means a duplicated chromosome. That means one chromosome, right? So how many cross are there? I can see that one cross, two cross, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight cross, eight chromosome, eight duplicated chromosome, right? And then the next question: How many chromatid? So we can see that in one duplicated chromosome, there are two chromatid. So that's why one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Eight times two, sixteen chromatid, right? And then how many pairs of sister chromatid? In one duplicated chromosome, I have one chromatid here and the other chromatid here. And what is the relationship between them? They are the sister chromatid. Therefore, how many pairs? Eight pairs. So that's the possible question variation. And then what about? I ask you that. So in the non-dividing somatic cells of this organism, how many chromosomes? Chromatids and pair of sister chromatids. Okay, in the interphase stage. So 
I give you the hints and then you try to give your answer in the comment section. So in these cells, you can see that oh, in the interface before the DNA replication, so we should not see the uh, cross, right? We should not see the duplicated chromosome. We should see the single chromosome here, right? But can we really see the chromosome? Not really. So actually, what should we see? We should just see the cell and then with the nuclear membrane and then inside the nuclear membrane, we just see the diffuse chromatin, the genetic material, chromatin, not yet chromosome, right? So uh, try to answer me the following question. How many chromosome, chromatid, and the pair of sister chromatid? So in the past, we have very similar question in 2022, question 20 for the DNA calculation. The amount of DNA in cell P immediately before mitosis. It means that the cell has already do the DNA replication, right? So it's X, the DNA content is X. And then after division, there are four chromosomes in each daughter cells. So which the following descriptions is correct. So try to watch the video and then do the revision. 